Hey everyone, got something extra exciting to show you guys today, and that is the brand new super rad Dye i5 goggle system. Been crazy excited about this, super stoked to get my hands on it, and I'm gonna tell you guys all about it. But before we get into the features of the mask, I'll show you what it comes with. There is, of course, a mask bag. It's pretty nice bag, it's pretty thick, got like a microfiber inside and a drawstring, so it's a bag. It's a decent bag, but a bag. Then you got your manual, of course. You got a sticker, everybody likes stickers. And then, this is your little camera mount, which I am going to explain in more detail in a bit. So I will get back to that. First, I wanna tell you guys basically the differences between the i5 and the i4, because on looking at it, it looks very, very similar. Um, I got an i4 right here, so I can show you. As you can see, the i5 is like slightly larger. Not by much, maybe by half an inch, but just slightly larger. larger. So still very low profile, still really hugs your face. It's just gonna be a little bit longer on your face, which for guys like me, I'm stoked on because I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm a longer person and this mask does not cover my whole head. I love my i4. I have been using them for years. I consider them to be like one of the best masks. It's just like it comes down to like here on me. So I do take shots to like my lower jaw fairly frequently and that's gonna happen less with the i5 because it's actually gonna cover more of my face. So I'm excited about that. I'm sure there's lots of other people with big heads out there that are stoked on that too. Now the other differences are like quite much, much more drastic. There's like, that's, that's the subtle difference in the size but everything else is, gets, pretty crazy pretty quick. And the first one I'm gonna show you is actually the strap, because this strap is crazy different from the old strap. Uh, the old i4 strap was just like any other mask strap. It was just a strap, you just pulled on it to make it tighter. And this is much more similar to snowboarding boots or like wakeboard bindings, if you're familiar with those. So you have this little wheel right here and you can turn that to adjust the tension. And the idea behind it is that it kind of spreads out the tension, I guess, across the entirety of the back of your head. So with a traditional mask, stra mask strap, it would maybe be pulling on like one part of your head or like two points of contact, whereas this spreads it out. So it should give you a more secure, snug fit without having to make it like excessively tight where it's like squeezing your brain. So, haven't actually personally used it yet. Um, can't wait to try it, but yeah, that's the idea behind it, is that it's gonna be a, a better grip and it's much easier to change the, the tightness on the fly. Uh, the other benefit of this is, as you can see, it's kind of big. So, if you take shots to the back of the head and it hits this, you're gonna be fine. Like, this is actually quite a big chunk of protection for the back of your head, so, you know, that's a nice benefit. As for the rest of the differences, um, so the lens is actually the exact same as an i4. So if, if you've already got sweet lenses, you can put them in an i5, which is sweet. So that's cool, it takes the exact same lens. How you take the lens out is different. And it's just slightly more difficult than the i4. So it's not hard because the i4 is the easiest lens chain system like ever. You push in some tabs on the strap and then push the strap out and then it comes out, that's it. It's really fast, it's really easy. This is like a tiny bit more complicated. It's still easy, you still don't have any like little plastic bits that can fall out and get lost, but basically there are these little switches. There's two on each side of the mask that you have to push forward and then you can pop the strap out and push the mask out. So it takes slightly more time and I am gonna show you guys how to do that in a minute. Um, but the next thing, so they, so the, the lens is harder to change, slightly harder to change, but they totally make up for it in how much easier it is to change the foam now. Cause I mean, if you've used a mask for a couple years, you're going to notice that the foam is what dies on it first and you're going to have to change the foam to keep the mask comfortable and fitting properly. With an i4, you had to cut off the old foam and then glue in the new foam which it's glue, you can do it wrong, it's a little bit more time involved. It wasn't like super, super challenging, but like, eh, it wasn't fun. This is way easier. Basically the foam is attached to a little plastic border and you just pop it out and then pop a new one in and you can do it really fast. So big bonus points for that, that's awesome. And again, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. 
As well, I am going to show you how to install the camera mount. It goes right there. You basically take out this little die logo and then you put the camera mount on and it is a universal camera mount. I say I hesitate on universal because there might be an action cam out there that it doesn't fit. Uh, I'm not sure. It seems like it's designed to fit pretty much anything. It has a little tripod screw in it. So any action cam like a GoPro or anything that has that little standardized tripod screw mount, that can go on there. And for an action cam like uh, Contour, which just you just glue on with a little adhesive mount, you would take the screw out and then just use the flat surface to just glue your contour mount on. So I'm pretty much sure that it fits most, if not all, action cams. The last thing that is just a tiny thing, but I like it, are these little cheek pillows, is what I'm gonna call them. It's just got these little plush, cushiony pillows on the, on the ear protectors. So the i4 didn't have that, the i5 does. Seems cool, I like it, comfort is king. And now that I have the features out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and actually show you guys how to like change the lens and the foam and put the camera mounts on and stuff like that. And you'll see that like, when I say like more difficult than an i4, it's still not difficult at all. It's crazy easy. So now I'm gonna show you. So when you're removing the lens, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna look for these four little gray push tab things. There's two on the top and then there's two on the bottom of where the strap attaches to the lens itself. You wanna make sure all four of those tabs are pushed forward, so basically away from the back of the mask. And then once they're pushed forward, you're gonna grab the earpiece of the mask and just gonna pull away like that and it should just pop out just like that. Once you've done that, you're just gonna push on the back of the lens and the lens should easily come out just like that. Once you have the lens removed, you wanna take out the foam kit and that is crazy easy. Just start at the corners, kinda of pull on it and it should pop right out and then just keep pulling on it and all of these little teeth that hold it in should let go very easily and just like that, foam comes out. Now with the foam out of the way, I'm gonna show you guys how to install the camera mount. Now on the right side of the mask, underneath the ear pad, you're gonna have this little blue disc right there. And if you have a screwdriver, or in my case, a loony, you just wanna rotate that disc and it should drop out just like that. Then you just push on the little, po the little pokey things, pokey things, that's what I'm gonna call it. You get the die logo off. You can take your camera mount put its pokey things in the holes that, you know, the Dialogo's pokey things went in. It's all very technical terms. Take your little locking disc, get it back in the same spot, get your loony or screwdriver, and just rotate. And that's it. That's how easy it is to install the camera mount. So as you can see, it's on there, it's secure, and then you can mount your action cam and start filming away, which is pretty great. So that's pretty much it. That's how you, you know, change out all that stuff. And I didn't want to make you watch me put it all back in. So just imagine me taking it out, but in reverse, and then you'll be able to put it all back in. So super easy, super chill. And one final thing we wanted to show you guys, just because we actually had a really hard time finding it ourselves, was we wanted to show you like an actual comparison of what the i4 looks like on my head versus what the i5 looks like on my head. So you can get an idea of how much more coverage you get with an i4. Because I tried to find this on the internet and just totally could not. So this, this is your i4. And as you can see, you know, it uh, doesn't cover my entire head. Ah, so, you know, not bad, but not perfect. Whereas with the i5, With the i5, as you guys can see, it comes down and basically covers almost the entirety of my chin. So now you can't really get a shot in my mouth if I'm, you know, yelling and stuff on the field, which I do a lot of. So, hope that was informative. Hope you guys are, ex are, as, are as excited about the i5 as I am, because I'm stoked. Like, I want one real bad. I like this a lot. Um, yeah, if you like the video, you should uh, give it a like, give it us a little thumbs up, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any suggestions on stuff we should cover in the future, feel free to leave them in the comments, and thank you for watching.